Hello, my name is Sean Sperry and I am with the IBM System Storage Group. Uh, and in this video, we're going to talk about a new feature for Spectrum Protect for Virtual Environments Data Protection for VMware version 7.1.3 called Self Service uh, File Restore. Now, in order to talk about this feature, I first have to give you some background and uh, history on file restore within a data protection for VMware environment. Uh, data protection for VMware uh, backs up virtual machines, back us, backs up VMware virtual machines. And throughout the history of the product, you have always been able to either restore a whole virtual machine back to a VMware data center or look inside those virtual machine backups and pick out individual files within the virtual machine to uh, to restore. Now, the thing about this feature of restoring individual files was in order to do it, you had to have access to the Spectrum Protect server. And so you had to have Spectrum Protect server credentials and use the native Spectrum Protect uh, GUI. So what this meant in effect is that end users really needed to submit a help desk ticket or call the Spectrum Protect server administrator in order to get back an individual file from a virtual machine uh, backup. Now with version 7.1.3 what we've done is introduced a feature called self-service file restore with data protection uh, for VMware. And uh, just some, some background about how it was designed. Uh, it was designed to support win both Windows and Linux virtual machine, but it was designed from the beginning to be very user easy for end users to to uh, use. So what that means is from a security perspective we're going to use the operating system credentials to determine permissions to restore files. So if you have permissions on the operating systems that you want to restore to then you're going to have the permissions to restore the files in that uh, operating system. And the other thing that makes it very easy for an end user to use is it is a single purpose browser based interface, which essentially means that you point the browser to the, the GUI server for data protection for VMware and you'll log in using your operating system credentials and then you'll be able to just go in and see all the files that have been backed up from the virtual machine pick the one you want to restore uh, and do the restore and so you don't need to deal with the full-blown graphical user interface for data protection for VMware there's no additional plugins that are required like Java uh, or Flash or anything like that. It's just a straight browser, easy to use interface. Before we do a demo, I just want to give you a full, uh, just a quick overview of the installation and access. Uh, the infrastructure for doing these file level real restores is really the same as earlier versions of data protection for VE. So you have to have the same infrastructure from a proxy node perspective and the like. It's just that the GUI now is easier for end users to use. Uh, there is a slight difference uh, in that there is a new panel that is accessed during the configuration wizard process, which allows you to give administrator contact information in case there's a problem with an end user doing a restore uh, and also allows you to save domain credentials for actually accessing the files on the Spectrum Protect uh, server. Now there is a, an additional frconfig.props file 
which allows you to configure some additional things about the end user interface. Uh, you can set the maximum mount points, for example. So if you want to control how many people are using your Spectrum Protect server to do individual file restores, you can do that. You can control mount session times outs and uh, also the time to keep the messages from the last uh, restore, which you can see over here in the in the screen capture that we've done. To access the UI, it's pretty easy. You just go to HTTPS uh, and go to the v TSM for VE GUI and uh, point to File Restore UI, and that will give you access to the to the uh, to the file self-service file restore GUI. Now. Uh, what I'd like to do, rather than talk about it or show you some screen captures, I'm just going to do this live, uh, just so you can kind of see how the graphical user interface works. This is a demo environment that we're using that is Spectrum Protect for VE713. And we're going to be running Windows 2012 R2 and VMware vSphere 5.5 uh, update 2. Now, for full details on the installation, as always, I would encourage you to take a look at the official documentation and it'll give you a lot more details about the the parameters in the file running through the configuration wizard and uh, how to access the uh, the GUI. So in the meantime let's uh, take a look at the demo. Okay so here we are ready to do the demo and we can see that we're in the Spectrum Protect for VMware data protection for VMware user interface or graphical user interface here and as you can see I have a backup of this spec SQL uh, machine so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log on to that VMware guest spec SQL uh, and I'm going to do that by pulling up a console uh, on it and I'm going to send control alt delete and I am going to log on as a non-administrative user, uh, as an end user, to this Spec SQL uh, machine. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and make it full screen just so we can see things uh, a little better. And now I'm ready to, as an end user, go ahead and try and restore a file from that VMware uh, backup. Now this is a pretty clean machine. I don't have a lot of browsers on here, Chrome or Firefox. Uh, I just happen to have Internet Explorer. So that is what I'm going to use to do this machine. And I don't have uh, any plugins installed in here, Java, uh, Flash, anything like that. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and go to the go to the file restore UI interface uh, for this vedms.spectrum.eadu which is my data protection for VMware GUI machine uh, and I will log on and here I'll specify the name of the machine I want to restore a file from which is going to be my spec SQL machine and I'll specify the domain name and domain password of the user as whom I'm going to be doing the file restoration and then click login. Now when I do that uh, what's going to happen is as the self-service restore user the data protection for VMware GUI is going to go out and look at all of the available virtual machine backups and allow me to choose the one who I want to restore the file as. I'm going to go ahead, I have two, I'm going to go ahead and pick the latest one. And then data protection for VMware is going to go out there and look at the Spectrum Protect server scan all the disks, in my case I have three virtual disks on this machine, and build a list of files uh, that I can restore. 
Now that's going to take a few minutes to happen. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and uh, stop the recording while that list builds and just start it again in a minute or two. Okay, so my list built, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over, and as you can see, this is a very easy to use point and click GUI. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and drill down. I created a file to do a test restore with, a very small file. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go to users, this user who I logged in as, demo user, I'll go to documents, and I'll just restore this self-service file restore.rtf file. It's asking me where do I want to restore it to. I'm going to say it's original location. And I'm going to click on restore. And then as you can see, what will happen is when that starts, I'll just get a nice little dialog box here and the restore will run in the background. Now if I were to log off of this graphical user interface, I could come back and uh, and the information would still be there and I could check the status uh, of the restore and as you can see that restore uh, completed successfully. So uh, really pretty straightforward again any user who knew how to point and click could really do this. I'll go ahead and just restore to an alternate location just so you can see that. Uh, I did this before so that's the that was the file on my desktop. I'll go ahead and empty that and delete it and now I'll do a restore to an alternate location select this file that was backed up here and do a restore and as you can see when I do that I get a list of destinations to restore to I'll just go ahead and restore to the demo users desktop and just go ahead and click on restore and then you can see that restore again will just run in the background. It's going in, look inside the virtual machine, pull that one file out, and uh, restore it to the desktop. So there it is, completed successfully, and I can just click on it and uh, see it. Now, just to show you a little bit about the permissions. Uh, what I'd like to do is go here and I'll minimize my restore UI and I have a few files on here in my C directory lick files that are owned by administrator. So you can see I can see them as this demo user, non-administrative user, but if I try to delete them or overwrite them it wants administrator permissions to do it. If I click continue, I'm going to have to give it administrator uh, credentials, right? Well, as an end user, I may not have administrator credentials, so uh, I'm going to click, and click no, and essentially I can't delete that file. Well, the file restore UI is going to work uh, in a similar sort of way, right? I have the same permissions here as I had uh, when the file was backed up. So it's drawing the permissions from the domain and from the backups of the data. And so if I go out and go to the C drive and go to the lick files directory, and I try to restore one of these files to its original location, what should happen is since I don't have permissions to overwrite that file as demo user, uh, I should get an error when I try to do that. So we'll just let that run and uh, there you see I did get a, an error I can click on details and you'll see that I got an error saying that I don't have permissions to restore the file to the destination folder. So again, everything is based on your permissions in the domain and not on the Spectrum Protect server. So I'll just go ahead and close that, uh, that error message. and I'll go ahead and close this dialog box and I'll go back to my interface and I can now log out of this GUI and uh, 
I am back and able to continue with my restored files. So that's an example of the new file restore, self-service file restore UI. I hope you found it useful and I hope you'll uh, try uh, giving this to some of your end users and maybe it can relieve some of the Spectrum Protect administrators from uh, some or, or your help desk from some of the work they would traditionally have to do. I look forward to seeing you in another video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.